Hi guys, um, welcome to another review on the channel. Today you join me inside um, another Ranger, but this time we have the Ranger Storm Track, which sits slightly below um, the Ranger we had before, which was the Ranger Raptor. Um, and all of these models that I've well tested um, are going out, so they are going to be replaced by the next generation Ranger. So I'm gonna give you a quick review uh, as much as these are going out, they are still very relevant. They still have good tech, you know, they still have that 2022, 20, 2023 um, type of good tech. And I think even the new ones won't be too different from these ones. You know, the drive might be different, the looks gonna, are gonna be different, but the platform that of which um, they are based on won't be that much different. Obviously with the new Raptors, they are gonna come with um, new infotainment systems, the interior or the cabin is going to be much more different compared to this one but the underlying fundamentals of you know ford Bucky's ford um suv platform they are still going to be there so this is still going to be worth um, much of a goodbye i'm going to go out now i'm um, showing you the outside of the car and then i'm going to go inside and yeah we might end off with a drive or i can just tell you know about the drive uh yeah, so in this Maki, we have the two liter by turbo engine. Uh, it's the diesel version, and it pushes out 157 kilowatts with 500 Newton meters of torque. And you may hear it now. I like how the turbo diesels sound. They make it such a nice sound. And this one is pretty punchy, obviously with this Maki being, being a bit light. Um, it's not, Know that slow or the engine is not that much underpowered for this car or the size of this car um, I'm gonna show you quickly like just how it accelerates you're gonna yeah you might be amazed turn. and the tunnel radius of the steering is not that bad I do feel like it's a bit soft but it gets the job done and just like that we did 60 um, which yeah should be like the speed limit on this road or the minimum speed limit in South Africa so the drive of this car it's pretty good it's pretty decent I'm gonna go back here and just be a hooligan and climb over these circles and the car goes over it without feeling a pinch even I as the driver and along with my passenger we are still steadily comfortable um, it is a bit bumpy, you know, you do feel the bumps, but not in an uncomfortable manner. You are still comfortable, but yeah, you do move around the seats. And they are also okay enough to hug you. The bolstering is not bad at all. Um, it's not bucket seats, but they do keep you in place. And also wear your seat belts if you don't want to jump out. Um, I'm going back here. Before I forget, this car and all the power that it has is, pu is pushed through the 10 speed um, automatic transmission and it still does the job fairly well, uh, even in the Sparky. You know, it's also used in the Everest, it's also used in the Ranger Raptor. Um, so, Ford trusted, um, they trusted, and I also believe it's good, you know, it's good to drive even in traffic. Uh, there's still that benefit of being able to move very, very, very slowly in traffic without tapping the throttle. There's no hesitation uh, during the drive. So I have enjoyed um, the drive of this car, of this Bucky. So this is how the Ranger Storm Track looks like from the outside. I'm very sorry, it's dirty, dirty, but still shines. You know, the paint still reflects nicely. Um, so let's dive deep into the exterior of this car. Uh, almost everything is gloss black which adds to the nice styling that we have on this bucky so you have um, our front bumper there you now a piece of it is in gloss black and then you go to our grill also has some gloss black styling and the ranger lettering there and we also have some red inserts um, at the front which makes it look very nice I love it um, go to the sides we are greeted with the 18 inch 
alloy rims um, they are also wrapped or they are colored in gloss black and you have these huge tires which you know can tackle any terrain they are the continentals um, contact cross I believe and we go to the sides you know our lettering there with the Ranger in case you forget what this car is and in case you forget the addition of this car um, also says storm track and you will realize that we have um, you know these vinyls here these black vinyls they are also there at the front as you might have seen and also our mirror caps are also covered in gloss black so the overall styling of this car is covered man like it's very very beautiful also our handles are in gloss black and our roof rails gloss black this thing here i'm not sure what it's called but it's at the back of the bucky just protecting the window there and adds to the styling as well it's, it's in gloss black and these here are also in gloss black so if you take a look at that it's very very beautiful and yeah built tough in south africa and to bring you to the practicality side of things we're gonna get inside the loading bay pop that open there and you are greeted by this ample um, amount of space and if you want to open this thing you there's a button there that you have to click um, or press and this helps with protecting your luggage um, against rain damage and if you want to obviously hide um, anything in here while in transit you can do so it's a nice feature to have and it's very nice that you just go here press that button and it opens takes um, a few seconds and voila you got this huge um, space in, uh, at the back so in here let's say you want to put stuff between this space and the space and you want it to not slip out you can just push this thing um, to that position and then you can put your things here so those things won't slip um, but it's a very nice touch to have this thing even though the downside to it is that it limits space in a way so you can see I'm gonna push it to um, the edge and that's where it ends so when you close that thing there there's this space that is left to you know sort of be free so if your thing is taller um, than the space that you're gonna have here you need to remove this thing but I think it's very easy to do because I can see some bolts there so you just take it out and then you're gonna take it back um, when you know when you are done with your task but otherwise it's very nice space here and then as you can see we have this glass that's at the back here um, you can see inside just about a tiny bit um, but there is enough space when you're at the front and you're driving for you to be able to see what's happening at the back there is no obstacles in your way apart from obviously the rear passengers if they're there um, but otherwise it's a very nice open space and i like how they did it here and like so we are out of the loading bay and i'm just gonna close this thing so you have to keep your fingers there because if you let go it stops and then if you press again it goes back but if you want to continue in one direction you just press and hold then this thing is lightweight um it's the tailgate i believe it's very lightweight you know i can lift it with one finger and then close it just like so and it's very very neat it goes into the border lines nicely which what which is what makes this car look very very beautiful And as you get inside the Ranger, you are greeted by this lighting here that says Ranger. It's a very nice touch to have um, on the spiky. You know, it's a very stylish spiky. It's meant to be practical, but also not compromise on the looks. And they made sure with the storm track lettering because even on the inside, you are still greeted by the storm track um, logo. This is on the passenger side. And then we go here and our beautiful cockpit so on here this is like soft touch material and remember we're in a bucky but you still get this premium feeling um, with the soft touch material here that's in red stitching and this continues to the steering wheel as well you know you do have some red stitching there and also on our door panels we have that 
and most importantly our seats also do say storm track um and also you know like this is very um premium feel with the alcantara on the side and then some leather and then some you know um more continuation of the alcantara material and i do like these seats i also like this thing which if you push it you're gonna notice that this side gets a big um it's it's pushed outward to help with supporting your back if you don't like that you just switch it back and it's gonna stay there and at the back here you do get decent space as well and the red stitching um with leather continues to the rear seats and this can fit three people if you will but if you want to have two people um you can just put this down for their drinks and you can use a cover that's in here to strap that in i believe and that's just gonna make it stick and not jump around but it's pretty steady and this also hides if you're not gonna be using it and we do get um our 12 volt ports this car has four of them two at the front there one here and then one in the loading bay at the back and you also get this 150 watts socket so you can use this to power your you know decent or basic appliance that don't take more than 150 watts so you can plug them in there as you continue with your journey and this is our infotainment system it is this eight inch touch screen uh, it's the sync 3 version so we're just gonna make on yeah press that button it's gonna come on and there we go so in here you can control your climate you have the ability to connect um, it to your phone and you also do get navigation in here which is pretty decent um, and yeah obviously you can explore the settings if you want we have you can also connect this car to Ford Pass and that allows you to start the car remotely uh, that allows you to lock the car using your phone um and also start using your phone as well and it does get apple carplay and android auto so you are sorted in terms of that and it comes with um six speakers like so you have there also in your door panels you have here as well and down there which sound very good um i won't lie they are pretty decent and that's how we're going to end the video thank you guys for tuning in as you might know i hardly say whether i recommend a car or not but i would definitely recommend this ranger storm track even though it's outgoing uh, it's still a pretty good bargain to get um yeah thank you guys for tuning in share with your families friends i can't wait to test the new rangers to tell you just how different they are from this one 